A rotating body will continue to rotate at the same speed unless acted upon by an outside force. The Coriolis effect is also referred to as the law of conservation of angular momentum. It states that the value of angular momentum of a rotating body does not change unless an external force is applied. In other words, a rotating body continues to rotate with the same rotational velocity until some external force is applied to change the speed of rotation. A great example of this principle in action is a figure skater performing a spin on ice skates with their arms extended. The rotation of the skater's body is relatively slow. When the ice skater draws both arms inward, the moment of inertia becomes much smaller and the rotation of the ice skater is going to significantly increase. Applying this concept to a helicopter, as the blades would cone due to a maneuver for example, the center of gravity of the rotor blades will move inwards. This in turn will cause an acceleration of the rotation just like it did with the ice skater. This is a problem because the rotor system could end up overspeeding, permanently damaging it. A new set of rotor blades is not really what you want to have on your conscience. We have a couple of options of dealing with this, and different rotor systems have different solutions. The fully articulated rotor system, for example, incorporates a lead and lag hinge. This hinge allows the rotor blades to move backwards and forwards in their rotation to help the rotor blades back down. The semi-rigid rotor system, like the one on Robinson helicopters, doesn't use a hinge to deal with the Coriolis effect. Instead, the rotor system is underslung. Being underslung simply means the rotor blades are attached to the rotor hub beneath the pivot point, or the point where the blades teeter. When the rotor blades flap up or teeter, the center of gravity would not move inwards by any noticeable margin. This means when the rotor blades flap on a semi-rigid rotor system, the revolutions per minute will not change significantly.